guys, so a lot of you remember the Purito sunscreen scandal, which involved a ton of different sunscreens. And the Beach Shield is one of those that kind of got caught up in this uh, issue where a lot of sunscreens were found not to have the correct SPF. Well, since this happened, the Beach Shield has been doing more tests. And in the meantime, the Round Lab has already reformulated and remanufactured their sunscreen. It's on the market. Lincoln wants to say hi quick. It's very shy. Uh, okay, so in the meantime, Crave has still been testing there. So finally, they issued an announcement, an announcement of an announcement, basically. Uh, they said, so you've been asking what's going on with the Beach Shield. We finally have a date to share everything. Next Monday, April 12th, we'll be putting out an important update. So it's an announcement about announcement, basically. Uh, so basically, their update is going to be what's going on, how they've been responding to the SPF concerns, updates on their testing and their results. Changes to their policy for more transparency. If you want more transparency, why don't you just say what's going on instead of saying it and then saying you're going to say it in four more days. But anyway, uh, also more uh, questions and uh, discussion about they're going to basically repackage it. So it doesn't sound like there's any reformulation going on. Basically, uh, a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that they said that they're now working on repackaging this and not reformulating it. So this leads me to believe that there is going to be an announcement and I have a gut feeling that they're going to say this is not SPF 50 and they're reformulated in new package with a new SPF. That's my gut feeling. What's going on? What is your gut feeling? Because uh, there's been a lot of discussion about it over the last few months. I don't know why it took so long, so much longer for them to test it than anybody else. But that's my gut is that the first test came back. It wasn't SPF 50. So I did another test and another test and another test and... It's not SPF 50, so in the meantime, they've decided to repackage it, not reformulate it, and just rebrand it with a lower SPF. That's my gut feeling on it, but I want to hear what your thoughts are. So anyway, on Monday, I guess we'll find out more. The dogs are really stealing my spotlight today, guys. Anyway, so leave a comment with what your thoughts are, and Monday, when I hear more, I'll keep you guys posted. It'll be interesting. So uh, anyway, leave a comment with what your thoughts are. Love hearing from you guys, and I will see you more later. Okay, bye, guys.